What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm standing here next to the 2024 Mercedes-Benz GLS 450. This is a facelift that Mercedes did for the 2024 model and it feels like the car just came out back in 2020, the all new model and Mercedes have already done a facelift and let's talk about some of the new things that you'll see for the 2024 model. So coming towards the headlamp, as you guys can see, it is actually really similar. I don't seem to notice any changes for the 2024 model with uh, the headlamp. But when we get to the grill, this is where you're going to see the most changes. We have this uh, like four bars that go across the grill and this has been a little bit controversial. Uh, some people have not really liked this design. I personally don't really like this design either. It looks uh, just kind of a little bit cheap to me. So going down towards the lower end of the bumper, we have this piece, which once again looks a little bit cheap to me. We have these uh, fake kind of vents here. Uh, so this is something that Mercedes have been, you know, doing with their models, with the GLS, uh, but that's just how they're doing it. Uh, and here we also have this like a little bit new design here, a lot of chrome, which, you know, looks nice on this particular model. You have the parking sensors, of course. Uh, so it gives you, you know, full comfortability when you are parking this car. So coming down to the wheels now, we have these all-season Scorpion Zero tires. And these are actually very thick tires. These are 275-45 R21. So uh, you have really nice rims with it. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a very, you know, thick tire here that uh, Mercedes have put for this model. Here's the mirror. We have uh, the camera here for the 360 degree camera. Uh, you have a little bit of a step in here for when you actually open the car. Uh, you can maybe step on it if you need help, but honestly, I don't think you really will need. So now going towards the end of the car, uh, we have actually a little bit updated headlamp here. We have these individual uh, three pieces that light up at night. And you have the reverse right here, brake right here. So it's a little bit of a different design that Mercedes did for the 2024 model. And we actually have this really nice spoiler here, which actually adds on a really nice and sporty look. So I definitely like what Mercedes does with this one. They also put it on the GLE as well. So I really like this design, but you do have to pay a little bit extra for this. This one does also come with the towing package. And here you have the uh, exhaust pipes once again these are fake exhaust as you guys can see it is blocked off with a uh, plastic under here is actually uh, the actual pipe so uh, you know this is something that Mercedes started doing you know a few years ago so looking at the window sticker of the 2024 GLS 450 this is the 4Matic model it comes with a 3 liter inline 6 turbo engine produces 375 horsepower so it's a little bit more horsepower than the previous model uh, it has uh, 369 uh, pound, pound feet of torque and it is a uh, nine speed automatic transmission. This one does come with the obsidian black metallic paint. Uh, it comes also with the macchiato beige black MBTEX interior. So it's, you know, the color combination. You have the white leather seats and then you also have uh, black on the dash. We'll get to more of that once we get into the interior of this car. And you also have brown linden wood trim, which looks really nice. And for the fuel economy, this one actually has decent fuel economy. It's better than the 2017 uh, through 19 uh, GLS model. As you guys can see, we have 19 in the city, 24 on the highway, which gets us 24, I'm sorry, 21 miles per gallon combined, which is actually really nice. So now coming into the inside of this car, it really is a very comfortable car. The seats are very comfortable. Uh, you have these, you know, reclining seats uh, that you can push. You also have the uh, extra thigh extension. And uh, yeah, so it's a really nice, not really that much updated uh, Mercedes for this model. The change that you will notice in this 24 model is the, actually the steering wheel. It's a little bit different, a little bit updated. It's really nice. Actually, I really like it. Uh, there's a lot of gloss black here. And this uh, horn button definitely looks really nice and it's like very... You know, sticks out to you. The Mercedes badge is also very large and you also have paddle shifters here which feel really nice and firm when you click on them. But the whole steering wheel itself is very thick and it definitely feels really nice. So unlike the new GLC uh, and you know the C-Class and other Mercedes models, uh, this one does continue the uh, two screens kind of put into one. It's something that Mercedes introduced for the GLS in 2020 so 
it didn't really make any sense to change it up because this is still a really new design you also have a fully leather stitched uh dashboard here with the black mbtex and something that is a very big surprise to me is that this one does not have a head-up display uh, for this price range and for this kind of car it really should have you know a head-up display does not matter if you should pay extra for it or not i think it should have been given as from factory but that's something that you unfortunately have to pay extra for which doesn't really make any sense but uh you know the car manufacturers now are doing their best to kind of reduce costs and give you you know less this one does also come with the burmeister sound system so these do these do have really nice speaker covers and it looks very high quality so that's what i like with this mercedes uh, you do also have heated and cooled seats you will find that on uh, both the passenger and the driver's side door uh, you can also recline the right seat from the driver's side so that's a nice feature so uh, if you have someone trying to sit in here come into the car you can actually adjust the seat of this front passenger from here but looking at the center console it is very high quality you have a lot of gloss black here and you just kind of push this and you unveil these two cup holders here you also have two USB-C ports which is really nice so you can have one for uh, the drivers and for the passenger you also have the uh, wireless phone charger here so you just place your phone and it charges for you the GLS does come with uh, air suspension so to put it down you just click this button to put it up you just click that button so it's nice that you get this feature and then coming inside of here you actually have some pretty decent space you have one more USB-C port so it's a total of three in the front. So something that I like with German cars like Audi and Mercedes is that you actually have these two sun visors. So basically you can have one for uh, the side and if there's also, you know, sun in the front or whatever, you can also pull this down. So uh, it's definitely really nice to have. I don't see this very often, but that's when Mercedes gives you. You have lighting around here and this you just push and then you unveil the massive panoramic sunroof. So taking a look in the back seat now, it is a very comfortable car. You have so much legroom here. I'm 5'11". I had the seat adjusted to how I would sit when I was driving this car. And as you guys can see, you have a really big amount of space here between the legs and the back seat of this seat. You do really have a lot of privacy here with these screens, which actually go down when you click this button. Uh, right now, the car is not started, so you will not be able to do that. But uh, this sunscreen does go down when you click this button. You, all, you can also uh, adjust your seat here from the door panel as well as the backrest and also the headrest. So it's really nice. You do see this also in the BMW X7. So uh, you know this does really feel premium quality in here. So you have air vents here and you also have air vents here on the pillars so you can have air coming out of here and here that's also what i like about german cars you also have this massive grab handle and you also have this uh map light so it gives you some light when you want to read a book or whatever you want to do here in the back so in the back you do also have two individual captain's chairs you have a little pass through here in the middle so you can put things there or you can actually have access to the third row if you would like and then if you fold this down you also have a little armrest here so uh, that's definitely it really feels like premium quality back here now stepping into the third row uh, it's a little bit surprising there's not you know too much space i actually have to move the uh the, the seat in front of me up you know a, quite a bit amount to have you know actually a good amount of space here but like i said i am 5'11 so maybe that does make a little bit of a difference this is really meant for like smaller people so uh you know kids this would be ideal so there's definitely would be no problem if this was, you know, a kid sitting here. You would definitely have a lot of space here. Something really nice though, you have two USB-C ports on each side. So you can basically charge four phones in here or laptops, whatever, back here. So that's actually a really nice feature that I like. I've never seen, you know, this many USB or USB-C ports in a car in a through row before. You do also have a lot of, you know, leather here and it feels really high quality. It's a little bit on the harder side, but at least you do get this. Some cars do just give you plastic as the head, the armrest for the third row. But there's actually a lot of lighting in here. You have a massive window here. And then something that I'm a little bit surprised to see that is that there is no air vents or anything in here, which is, you know, very surprising to me because this is a very expensive car. So I would expect there to be air vents in here and get you a little bit of air. But, you know, this is a big car, so 
uh, maybe it won't be that hard for air to actually travel through uh, the seats in front of me to the back then you do also have a cup holder on each side and as well as some a little bit of a storage bin here okay so now getting into the cargo area of the GLS 450 really nice quick uh, opening assist and you have this uh, private seating right here and to fold down the third row seating you actually have buttons on the right side you just push them and I think you have to hold them for them to go actually no you don't so you just have to kind of play around with them I think one goes individually down but so yeah you do have you know electrical folding seats so that is nice but that's what you expect in this kind of car and this cargo cover you can actually move uh, a little bit further so if you have someone sitting in the third row that's when you would put this over here but if you want this to actually go over there a little bit further down you can do that as well and have you know the whole cargo area covered but this is a very large amount of cargo area uh, so you can definitely fit a lot of things back here also like i said you have the middle pass through so if you have something big like skis or a fishing rod you can definitely be able to put this without a problem and also something that i noticed is that this does sit a little bit lower compared to uh the 2017 through uh 19 gls you know this does sit a little bit lower so it gives you you know better access to put in you know larger items you do also have the air suspension so you can click on this button and it will raise raise or lower the car so if you have larger objects you can just put this in really easily Okay, so now looking under the hood of the GLS 450, you have this, like I said, uh, three liter six cylinder engine here that produces uh, 375 horsepower. So it's definitely plenty of power. It's a little bit more uh, horsepower than uh, the previous, you know, models. But yeah, you do have a little bit more horsepower. So uh, that definitely gives you a little bit bigger, you know, power for this massive vehicle because it is, you know, a really big car. And you know, it's a third row vehicle, so that's what you expect. You need, you know, full power here.